hello there. Thanks for taking our call. I'm Sean, and this is Rebecca. We're your brotherhood contacts for this op. What's the job? Straight to the point. I like that. Bex? Our intelligence indicates Abstergo is developing a new profiling technology that goes way beyond anything seen before. Over the years, they've collected and archived the memories of countless individuals, politicians, generals, even normal people like you and me. I don't think I'd call you normal, Sean. Very funny, but the point is, imagine if your own memories could be analysed to understand how you think, to learn about your values and beliefs, and to know what to show or tell you online or in person, to slowly replace those beliefs with a set of new ones. Templar beliefs. So where do I come in? The executive in charge of this initiative, Dominica Wilk, needs someone with your skills to finish the project, but she doesn't know you're working for us, or that you're going to shut her operation down for good. But more on that later. For now, we'll piggyback on your connection, so we'll be there when you need us. You'll have to switch over from our network to Abstergo's, and then you're off to your first meeting with your new boss. Ah, you must be the hacker. As ordered. Good. I'm Dominica Wilk. You'll report to me. Your skills are impressive, and so is your track record. Hacking governments, multinationals. Whatever you want, I can get it. That's why I hired you. But this job is different. This is the Abstergo Cloud. It's an archive of memories stretching back through time. We use a technology called the Animus to visit these memories, seeing them through the eyes of those who lived them. What is this, time travel? It's a simulation. No action you take in the Animus can directly affect the present. So why do you need me? The memories in the cloud hold the key to an important project I'm working on. So I want you to visit these memories and bring back the information I need. Where do I start? It's more of a who than a where. Ezio Auditore di Firenze, an Italian noble and master assassin. Sounds like quite a character. He was. Ezio was friends with Leonardo da Vinci and Machiavelli and a sworn enemy of the Borgias. He touched many lives at the end of the 15th century. And his blade ended more than a few. Count me in. Not so fast. The Animus is unlike anything you've ever experienced before. So we need to get you acclimated to its use. Think of it as a test before we set you loose on the real deal. Now, let's see what you've got. Welcome to the Animus Orientation Protocol. I will guide you through the basics of using the Animus. Your avatar is now active. You should be able to move around freely. Ah, the hidden blade. The assassin's weapon of choice. The staff has been dismissed for the day. There will only be a couple of guards for me to deal with. Good to know. Once again, my path leads back to Venice. Alas, I must deny my friends here the pleasure of my company. I have a sword to retrieve, and a lesson to teach. No one steals from an auditore and leaves to boast about it. I wish we were with the rest of the troop right now, instead of being stuck standing guard here. Why? They're working hard out there in the countryside. All we have to do is watch an empty building and drink wine. They'll be getting plenty of chances to line their pockets when they tell us. We'll be getting our reward here. I don't know what to get caught here. You must make your way through the library without being detected. If you're spotted, you'll desynchronize, and we'll restart from your last checkpoint in this memory. I really was looking forward to the chance to do a little shall we say, acquisitions work? Why are you in such a rush? I have bills to pay. They won't give me credit after the wine shop. You can distract guards in a number of ways. For example, 
You can divert their attention by throwing objects to make noise. What could that noise be? If you feel uncomfortable when using the Animus, remember that you can adjust your comfort settings at any time. You are now going to learn how to assassinate a target. Flick your wrist outward while holding the trigger button to draw your hidden blade. Once the blade is drawn, you can use it to assassinate your unsuspecting target. Well done. You have mastered the art of assassination. Now proceed with your mission. A map of Montaregioni. Why is this here? What is this? Two pieces joined together. But where do they go? There is an empty socket above the fireplace. to keep looking. A secret passage. Quickly, I must leave the city tonight. Yes, mistress. I should never have been away so long. Is my carriage ready? Yes, mistress. Good. Now put your back into it. There's no time to waste. Yes, mistress. To reach the next room, you will need to climb this wall. Try it now. What is this? A treasure room of some kind? My sword could well be here. That is quite the treasure. On whose head did it once rest, I wonder? is attractive, but ultimately useless for our purposes. It is not the item we need. We must plan more carefully and try again. There is no signature. My Yatagan. Such an elegant blade.
Now initiating the Animus Combat Protocol. Loading standard enemy profile. Block the incoming strikes by holding your weapon to intercept them. I've got you now! Let's see what you've got! Excellent. Now block a sequence of strikes. Blocking enemy attacks can create opportunities for you to strike. Block the following attack sequence to continue. Blocking a series of enemy attacks opens up windows to strike. Use these chances to slash and move. Execution rated acceptable. Now perform the maneuver in real time. A well-placed attack will stun an enemy. This will allow you to strike and cause increased damage. Performance rated acceptable. Now eliminate this enemy. User training rated a success. Terminating Animus Combat Protocol. Looking at guards will tag them, so you can track them when they're out of sight. Rather heavy scarred, but there is always a way through. I could use this to distract the guards. Sword is mine again, but my heart is not yet at ease. I will make for Monterigioni. It is time I went home.
Not bad for your first time in the Animus. I'm a quick study. Now how about we take the training wheels off? Certainly, but first, you need to know why you're here. We call it the Antikythera Mechanism. It was found a hundred years ago, in a shipwreck off the coast of Greece. What is it? It's part of an ancient computer, older than recorded history. We think it was used for prognostication, predicting the future. So who built it? We believe it predates human civilization. Though what's important is that within this device is code more advanced than any we've seen before. We reverse engineered it so it can interface with the Animus, but that's just the start. I'm listening. The Antikythera mechanism is one part of a much larger machine, broken apart in the distant past. With the code from those missing fragments, we can bring the old and the new together and create a computer more powerful than we've seen before. I call the project the Nexus Eye, and now you're a part of it. I guess I am. Where are these fragments? Hidden in the past. And that's where you come in. I need you to visit the memories within the Abstergo Cloud, find the missing fragments, and extract the code contained within them. Are you asking me to search the whole cloud? No, we've identified a series of memories as linked to the missing fragments. You'll place tracking beacons within them to triangulate your position within the memory clusters, and direct us towards those most likely to contain what we're looking for. Do I stay with Ezio? For now. But in time, you'll visit other memories. We'll have to see where the search leads. I'll be watching your progress. Good luck. Ooh, she'll be watching. Scary. I thought she'd never leave. You've heard what she had to say. Now remind me what you want from me. Just what we hired you to do. Use your skills to help us stop them. Now before you dive into the past, let's have a quick brief. As Dominica said, you're going to be planting beacons and memories to try to zoom in on these fragments she's after. But, thanks to you, we've got a little surprise for her. Now, this particular bit of code you whipped up is one of the neatest logic bombs I've ever seen. It's going to fit undetectably inside the beacons. Plant a beacon, and you'll be planting a bomb, too. And when all the logic bombs have been placed, we'll trigger them, and they'll devour the memories you've visited. Abstergo will no longer have access to their content. Right. Time to go. Enjoy the, uh, Italian countryside. Have some pasta. And... Please be careful. Master Ezio, I am Serafina. Your sister sent me to meet you. Oh, my wounded pride. My only sister is so busy, she must send a servant to greet me. Master Ezio, Mistress Claudia did wish to escort you, but... Do not worry, Serafina. I spoke in jest. It is a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure is all mine. Your reputation precedes you. <laughs> you are too kind, Serafina. Shall I escort you to Villa Auditorium? No, I know the way. I may wish to see the city a bit before I head home. As you wish. Mistress Claudia is eager for your arrival. Look, everyone, it's Master Ezio. And it seems she is not the only one. I will let her know you are on your way. Hey, it's 
Master Ezio, he's back, everyone! He's back! <laughs> The town has changed, but my feet know where to go. Down the Via Principale to the Via. Hello. You would think with all these workers, Montedigioni would be in better shape. Okay, I need you working at peak efficiency, so let's get you integrated into the memory data structure. I'll find a suitable point where you can attune your Animus Scout function. Got it. There's one on the top of Villa Auditori. Make your way there now. Once you've synchronized, much of each memory's top-level detail will become visible. You'll see points of interest, animus constructs, significant data locators, information useful to seeking the fragments. It's not just sightseeing, though. Syncing will help you better navigate the memory and locate what's important. There. Synchronize where you see that Animus node inviting you to interact with it. This is the Sync view. It displays important details about the memory you're exploring. You should always sync when searching memories for the first time. When in Sync view, you will often see secondary activities the assassin performed in their time. You do not have to do them yourself, but they can improve the quality of your synchronization in the Animus. Every memory has them. Syncing reveals them so you can pursue them, or not, as you wish. Hmm, you're synced, but something's still not optimized on the Animus side. I have an idea. Let's defragment your presence in the memory. First, head over to the coordinates I'm sending you. They're here to help, no? All they seem to do is lay about. Beginning calibration. Gold constructs challenge your navigation skills. Grab the construct to begin. Now pass through the gates within the time limit to complete the challenge. Calibration at 50%. Good. That's improving the data fidelity. More coordinates incoming. Platinum constructs reward your climbing skills. 
climb to the top of the church to collect the construct. Calibration at 100%. Optional challenges activated. You can now seek out other constructs in the environment to further test and develop your skills. And that's that. Calibration complete. Okay, now you're ready to do the real work. I've been traveling. I see. When did you get that? door is blocked. I'll have to find another way in. Got to get this done. There we go. What the? Mm. I need help! Ah, what the? At this point, honest work. You'd be so kind as to put that back. Help! Somebody, please! The servant's entrance. I always preferred this way. At this point. Still areas of the villa that are off limits for now. An unfinished letter, but I know Claudia's hand, Ezio. I hope you find everything here, if not quite as you would wish it. At least to your satisfaction. Like us, Monterigioni now too has its scars, but these we can try to heal. I am glad you are home. Are these workers doing anything? I'm tired of waiting, but our orders are to wait. In which speaks louder? Orders? that back. Mm. Help! Somebody, Done. please! for the workers to reinforce the cavity in Careful the wall of the that. weapons room in case of collapse. I hope this work has already been done. After 200 years, I would hate for the via to fall. But mistress, if you would only allow us into the attic, we could... No, I have grown tired of repeating myself. You will work where I tell you to work. Yes, mistress. I see you still have a way with handsome young men, Claudia. Brother. Much like you, Ezio, that man was neither young nor handsome. Oh, you wound me. Oh, please, your pride is more resilient than armor. What took you so long to find the villa? I got lost in the past while wandering the city. It is easy to do. I'm glad you are here now, in the present, as is Monte Rigioni. 
Monteregioni has never recovered from the siege, has she? No. I hired some workers to do some repairs on the villa weeks ago. Since then, they've been coming to the city like ants on the scent of sugar. It seems that they just lounge about town waiting for work that I cannot pay them for. Do me a kindness, dear brother. Take that model of the watchtower and place it on the map. My pleasure, dear sister. I know you love a good puzzle, brother. Up in the attic, there is a music box. If you can figure out a way to get it to play, you will get a wonderful surprise. Here is the key to your old room. Happy hunting, brother. Do not worry about losing key items. If you release them, they will reholster automatically when they are needed. supposed to be here for a few more days. Mr. Claudia will accept no more and one of the workers, what do I they have to talk about? Hello, hello. Claudia spoke of. If I am not mistaken, I recognize Leonardo's handiwork. I expect there will be more to this than it seems. Something I can use must be nearby. Something's not yet right. Something I can use must be nearby.
Ezio. I hope this brings you some joy. A last painting is but a poor substitute for friendship. God willing, I will see you again soon. Maybe so, old friend. Grazie, Leonardo. I shall treasure this until my last day. I suggest you hurry. We have no way of knowing if he survived the collapse or not. Very well. I had hoped to be the one to end his miserable life, but fate had other desires. Adio, Master Ezio. <laughs> Brother, we have vermin to exterminate. Your present was a gift of fate, then. Indeed. I will clear the bastards from this wing to keep them from sneaking up behind you. Meet me in the workshop. I shall rid the villa of the rest of these ratos. You look like you're getting a little pudgy around the middle. I am not. Sure you are. Who's been a greedy little pig? You take that back. Or what? You'll bump me with your belly? I'm warning you, don't say things like that or I'll do for you.
Spear Brother, Seraphina and the leader of the bandits escaped into the sanctuary. I will get rid of the rest that may be lurking on the grounds. Stop the thieves from defiling our home any longer. With pleasure, Claudia. Buona caccia. Now initiating the Animus Advanced Combat Protocol. Loading Professional Soldier Enemy Profile. Begin with parrying. Strike the enemy's weapon with your own just before it hits you. Time it right and you will open them to a counter-attack. Got you now! You're done for! A successful parry opens up immediate attack opportunities. To continue, perform a parry strike. Well done. Correctly executed parries will enable you to create openings to strike during combat. This next exercise will require usage of the combat dash ability which is now available to you. Perform a combat dash to knock enemies off balance. This will create more attack opportunities. The combat dash ability needs to recharge before it can be used again. The animus indicates this charging period below enemies when they are targeted. You can lunge forward with your hidden blade by drawing it and thrusting your arm towards an enemy. Is your training successful? Exiting Animus Advanced Combat Protocol. Oh, you fools. Now you shall see what these oh my God, can now. still do. Once we get rid of you, within a journey will be ours for the taking. Let's see what you got. Serafina and the leader of these bandits have escaped into the secret passage behind the statue of Altair. I must follow quickly if I wish to stop them from escaping. The sanctuary gate looks different. I'm gone but for a moment and my sister starts changing things. The wolves have entered the tunnels through the crypts. Perhaps we shall meet in the next life. Though in yours or mine, I cannot say. I must hurry. They cannot be far ahead. And now you get to plant a beacon and a logic bomb with it. Just grab the data node, and you're all set. Serafina has a head start, but she does not know these tunnels like I do. The guards here are on alert. Ezio rests with his ancestors. I hope you're right. You're not. My men have been exploring these tunnels for weeks. 
There are more than enough of them to stop him, should he have survived. so long. This one is unaware of me, a fine target for my blade. Use that guard below as an opportunity to review air assassinations. You will first need to have a weapon ready. Draw your sword or hidden blade. Either will do. When you strike, you will need to be certain to hit your target, so keep a steady hand. Now focus on your target and jump when you feel ready. search for treasure. What we already took from the villa wasn't enough? Not for him. I mean, good luck to him. Serafina says the assassin could be right behind us. Calm yourself, Codardo. He's just one man. Who just happens to be a master assassin. Please, Serafina. You have the treasure you need to find the Karakaon in Venice. You say eternal life shall be ours. Until then, trust me to handle our escape. You better. Or these tunnels will be our doom. Here. Why not? You still think Ezio is alive? I am sure of it. Come now. He was tired, outnumbered, and his best years are behind him. You're mine, bastardi! Run! Run! Durand is at hand. You'll not get away from me. I have you now. Who 
not think this will save you from my justice. My father and brother deserve justice. Those of us on the right side of knowledge have squared ourselves against you. Serafina, come. We must go. Our escape is at hand. The city above waits like a fresh beast, ready to be devoured. We are hungry for riches, sir. Then let Ezio serve as the primo. Our victory is at hand. My men have prepared a carriage to take you to Venice, and your ascension. Excellent. Take what you want from the city to appease Rizzo and meet me at our rendezvous. Hermes shall rise again. Hermes shall rise again. Not if I have anything to do with it. old tunnels. All sorts of accidents waiting to happen down here. What have we here? different masters. We share the same goal and the same enemy. Obey her as you would me. It is Someone's been on. murdered! I think I'm clear. <laughs> there has to be some device that will open this gate. behind us. Too late, assassin! You want Serafina? You'll have to go through me. That I can do. Some enemies are tougher than others. It is time for you to encounter one. <laughs> 
Before you initiate combat, we need to review one more technique. Some enemies have special attacks that cannot be blocked. These must be dodged instead. Do so either by using the input on your controller or by moving physically out of the way. I have you now! Let's see what you got! City burns. Serafina and her bandits have done their work well. How could I have been so blind? The fault is mine, dear sister. I have failed you and Monterigioni. This desecration of our home cries out for revenge. That I will not fail at. I heard Serafina and her men talk of Venice and their patron there, Francisco Rizzo. It is there that they have taken our stolen family treasures. Then why do you waste your time here with me? Let Antonio know you are coming, and then on the road to Venice with you. Bring back what is ours, and show our foes the auditories are not to be trifled with. You will see to Monterigioni? This will not be my first time rebuilding the city, brother. Go, and may the spirit of vengeance go with you. Welcome back. Monterigioni was a bust. I wouldn't say that. You place two beacons, and that helps narrow down our search. The fragments will come, just give it time. All this just to build a computer? It's so much more than that. Within these fragments is source code that when combined with the Animus, can build a behavioral profile of a person 
from their lifetime of memories. We have algorithms today that do the same thing. No, not like this. The Nexus Eye will be a window into the future. Using data from the Abstergo cloud, it will map out with near certainty how an individual or a group will act. We will take people's memories and use them... For what? For the betterment of us all. Let's leave it at that. Why do you need me? Doesn't Abstergo have people for this? Abstergo is too big to move quickly. We must seize the opportunity the Nexus I presents now, not in ten years' time. And if my employers can't see that, then I'll just have to show them. And that means taking the initiative. We have a fix on your next memory. Italy again? About 800 miles and 2,000 years away. The Greek mercenary, Cassandra. She fought on both sides in the Peloponnesian War between Athens and Sparta. You'll be joining her two decades later, when the war is about to end in Sparta's favor. She's still a warrior? It's said she found the secret to immortality. But that may be just part of her legend. Time has a strange way of bending the truth. Now get to work. Getting out of here. Welcome. Come check out my wares. Come on, keep working. It's getting harder and harder to get the right goods in. I can barely break even. Come look. You'll like what you see. What happened to those supplies of yours? Weren't they in the warehouse by the dock? A hoplite loaded them onto the boat and thanked me for my country. I do not want to get caught here. You now have multiple objectives that you can complete in any order. They can be viewed in the missions menu, where you can also change the objective you are currently tracking. Phedon and Stratum should be here, but the area is guarded by Athenian soldiers. I'll need to be careful. Oh. I am not supposed to be here. Keeping an eye out. Ah! 
No, Admiral Fatos does not need another bodyguard. He's quite safe aboard the Battle Rofen. What I need is for you to keep watch here, in case anyone tries to help themselves to our supplies. Now go, attend to your duties. I can put that to use. What's all this? Stand and face me. Got you. Let's see what you've got. He's one of the few admirals Athens has left. The provisions for the voyage. All aboard, Admiral. With a fair wind, the journey to Athens will not be long. A fair wind? It seems that we have had little but ill winds of late. But you're right. The grain must reach the city, and we must see that it gets there safely. Poseidon is on our side. Let's hope so, because every Spartan ship between here and Attica wants to see us at the bottom of the sea. Now enough talk. Be about your business. As you command. What? What have we here? One down, one to go. You see anything? That noise. The Athenian magistrate for Theos. It's a dead body! Well, I need reinforcements. The ships will be here in the morning. Where did Remove that noise the come from? Be away. Excellent. Sparta has long held the land, and now they rule the seas as well. Athens suffers already. If this shipment does not get to the city, the people will starve. Phidos is ready to sail? The convoy will depend on his protection. The Admiral is overseeing preparations for the voyage as we speak. He looks forward to you joining Good, good. Wait a moment. 
joining him? Yes, Eminence. He has reserved a place for you aboard the Bellerophon. He thinks I'm coming on the voyage? Of course. His vessel is the pride of the Aegean. And we've just lost 160 other prides of the Aegean to the Spartans. It's incredibly dangerous out there! Look, just... Just tell Vidos I'm sick. Yes, I think I need to stay here on the island a little longer until I feel ready to travel. <laughs> yes, the convoy should go ahead without me. Now go, convey the message. As you wish, Eminence. What's all the fuss about? Now to report in. What's making that noise? Come on, then! What's all the fuss about? Good day to you. Is it done, Cassandra? I dealt with your Athenians. Good. They were organizing a grain shipment to Athens. Their deaths will delay it and help bring the city to terms. Who's that? An old friend. Well, it's really you. <laughs> Odessa? What, what brings you to Vilos? I'm in search of a treasure. Left here by Odysseus long ago. What treasure is that? His bow. It's said to be hidden on the island. <laughs> A local legend. Some legends are true. The story goes that if the statues in the Temple of Apollo match one another, the path to the bow of Odysseus will be revealed. All they're missing is a bow, a wreath, and a lyre. Hmm. So there is some truth to this. And what of the wreath and the bow? Held in the island's treasury, right here in the Sanctuary of Apollo. Then they are under lock and key and guarded by Athenian soldiers. But we have the tools for the job, and the mystios to do it. So, you want me to find this bow for you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you wouldn't refuse an old friend, not after all we've been through. How can I forget? Very well, where do I start? You'll need the lyre. But you'll also need the bow and the wreath. With them, you can go to the Temple of Apollo and find my ancestor's bow. Every guard on Vilos is looking for me. Then you'll need to wait until nightfall. As for me, I need to get back to Sparta. Good fortune to you both. I'll remain here, Cassandra. Come find me when you're done. Velos is quite beautiful at night. Now to the treasury. Night, you need a 
Watch you now! Anything valuable is locked away in those two big treasuries. Who's gonna get in? Well, perhaps you should complain to the Strategos. And find myself on the front line of our next battle with Sparta. I'll take what I've got, but I can still complain. I care. Conversation close by. Come on! There must be something valuable in here. Over this is, but maybe it'll help me find it. The wreath must be in another building. side. The wreath. Symbol of Apollo. That's everything Odessa said I'd need. I should go to the Temple of Apollo. Must be one of the statues Odessa told me about.
There's another one. statue. do for you. A shield. That could be useful. Odysseus built this place? Or someone else? Boy, it better be worth it, Odessa. Now to get back to Odessa, somehow. Roll passes. Like in the legend. This is and I have something in common.
Wait, I'm picking up something. An energy signature. This could be what we're looking for. Find it and upload the code to me. The energy signature is in this area. The code is a match for the Antikythera mechanism. It's a fragment. Good work. And face me. Now what's all this noise? Oh. Now I got you. Come bearing gifts. Cassandra, you're back. Is that... You found the bow? Let me see it. Come on, hand it over. made for ordinary people. Belonged to Odysseus. A hero. He's not here anymore. But you are. I am honored, Odessa. 
I'll make good use of it. You have my word. So what now? Seems the war may soon be over. There's always work for Amistheus somewhere. Perhaps a return to Athens, once it's under Spartan rule. And I suppose... this is goodbye? Only until the next time. Here, Odessa. found it. Another piece of the puzzle. I thought these things were older than recorded history. They are, but it seems the fragments have been embedded in later man-made objects as a sort of adornment. In any case, it's the code we're after, not the objects themselves. So your Nexus Eye, is it working yet? Hardly. You've never built anything from scratch? I'm a hacker, not an engineer. Well, we're ways off. The code you found is what we're after, but we still need the other fragments to complete the code base, and once we have that, we can start retrofitting it to the Animus and make my vision a reality. Speaking of fragments, you're on the clock. I'm going. Where next? Another shift in time. Connor Kenway, a real thorn in the side of the British during the Revolutionary War. He defended George Washington, took out some of the Patriots' greatest enemies, and helped pave the way for the birth of the United States. Or so they say. Sounds like a hero. To some. I hope you know how to use a tomahawk. You're about to find out. There's a man in the fort's prison who needs rescuing. Good thing there's a route to a nearby cell. And another thing? I hate to ask, but... Yeah, that's what happened. Surely you have a generous heart. That construct provides you with a ranged combat challenge. Activate it, and you can test and improve your skills. Best to stay out of sight. This must be what I'm looking for.
<laughs> he keeps on yelling about how he's got powerful friends who are going to rescue him. Assuming they aren't imaginary, his friends will have to go through me. I've got the only key to his cell. He's right here! Ooh. How about you? Let's see what you've got! Rascal Aiden Galway sold me out to the British, and if you hadn't come along, I'd have been hanged for a spy. Good thing for you that I am here, then. It is indeed, I... Wait. You're Connor Kenway. Achilles Davenport's spoken of you often. You know Achilles? Do I? I'm Zadok Perry! Surely he's told you about me. No? Oh well. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Come with me. But what about the guards? I should stay here, where it's safe, until they're all gone. The way I came in is clear. The cellar door? That's too much of a climb for me. We'll have to find another way out. You mean I will? Very well. I will deal with the guards and unlock the path. This enemy is much faster than Don't others you have fought. Strike quickly Come before they outmaneuver you. <laughs> No guards or locked doors stand between you and freedom. I suggest you take advantage of this, now. Then I'll see you at the exit. <sighs> Hang on. I'm not as young as you. We'll rest here a moment. But not for long, or we'll both end up in a cell. You know, I'm not the only one that rat Aiden Galway betrayed. There's Jonathan Ferguson. Should I know this man? 
And should I care? If you care about freedom, you will. He's a son of liberty, captured taking coded dispatches to Concord. If the British decode them, then all our plans will be laid bare. I see. And what do you expect me to do about it? I don't know. But Davenport might. He's at a pub down at the docks. I'd take it as a great personal favor if you'd see him. Very well, then. I will see what he has to say. In the meantime, I suggest you pray our paths never cross again. As you wish. And Connor, thank you. deceive me. Connor. Old man, it has been a while. It has, and you've been busy. No more so than you. I spoke to Zadok Perry today. He was full of concern for a man named Jonathan Ferguson. Ah, oh, yes. Ferguson's in line to be hanged, I'm sure. And the British are working day and night to decode the letters he had with him. Letters to the top Patriot commanders. So why not do something about it? <laughs> Like what? Break into City Hall where they've been keeping the letters under lock and key and bring them home? When you put it that way, it sounds so simple. Shall I kill Aiden Galway for you while I'm at it? <laughs> it couldn't hurt. Bring the dispatches back to me here, unfollowed. You presume a great deal. But for what I owe you, I will do it. We can do that.
See what you've got! with that.
pleasant day to you. Greetings. Batches Achilles spoke of should be here. You now. <laughs> Stop that at once! He's got 
He's going east. What? Come at me. You can't have gone far. What the? Ferguson's letters could be in that safe. Locked. The combination must be around here somewhere. Access to the safe is needed. Look to Major Rawls' sword for the combination. Signed, Lieutenant James Mayer. Well, thank you for that, Lieutenant. Something I can use must be nearby. A regimental sword with the regiment's number on it. 105. Rawls' regimental sword. He seems inordinately proud of it. Dude, that's no good.
Connor. Did you get the dispatches? Here are your letters. They were not too hard to find. Bless you, Connor. You saved lives by bringing these to me. I also dealt with the traitor Aiden Galway. His voice was a little too loud for my liking. Then you've done a good deed twice. Can I get you to think about a third? Don't tell me you want me to rescue Ferguson. No, others will take care of that when the British go to hang him. But how do you feel about putting an end to the man who's doing the hanging? Major Rawl, he seems a little too eager to call for the hangman. Cutting down Rawl is a bold thing to do, and should be done with courage. A blade to the throat, not a knife from the crowd. That will make a statement loud and clear. I will have to move quickly if I am to do that. Indeed. You'll only have seconds once you're spotted before Rawl pulls the lever. I will do this. Just be ready with your men and Ferguson may yet see freedom. <sighs> I have no doubt. I can't risk being seen with weapons in the crowd. That leaves me with my hidden blade. You can hide among crowds to conceal your presence. Avoid suspicious actions while concealed in a crowd, or you'll attract unwanted attention. I must focus only on Rawl, not his guards. I cannot let Rawl's guards spot me, or they will hang Ferguson on the spot. What the? are to be obeyed.
He's Take going back! Get him off How my track. You? Got you now! So Roll is dead, and Ferguson is free. That's quite a morning's work. You should be proud of yourself, and get ready for what's next. Have you activated the beacon yet? That will make finding the next fragment much easier. lights might be going out. It's hard to say if the Redcoat's going to leave Boston without a fight. What do you think? General Knox's artillery should convince them to go. Which is why you need to go down there and warn Jonathan Ferguson that it's time to leave before this bombardment starts. He's in trouble? More than you think. He doesn't know it, but he's been working with the Templar cell who've been acting as patriots. If he leads you to them, you will know what to do. And what happens if the shooting starts while I am in the city? Ask Ferguson where to go for cover. He might surprise you. Never a straight answer from you, Come old on! Man. Keep it moving! Keep it moving! Until we meet again, Connor. What you've got. You know, a funny What's the cause of it? Ah! It's bad. What's all this noise? What have you trees near of sight? Someone out after curfew. Please. I was on my way home. I swear. <laughs> He swears. It must be true then. Oh, certainly. But he broke the rules, and we can't have that sort What's of thing. What's all the ah. Just let me go, please. I won't do it again. All right. Now, what's, what's all this noise? I've got him. do. Don't let yourself be followed back here when you're done. Am I interrupting? What the... Connor, how did you... No, never mind. That's what you do. What brings you here? I have a message for you. 
General Knox will begin shelling Boston tonight. That's good to know. It would be wise of you to leave the city before the bombardment starts. I'll do that then. And as for you... What the devil is that? It seems the British have taken matters into their own hands and started firing first. Right then. I'd best be moving. Are you coming with me? I still have work to do in the city. You'll need cover until this artillery duel ends. Go to the old brewery. Its walls are thick and its cellars are deep. And other patriots may be taking cover there as well. Fare you well, Connor. Best to stay out of sight. Those patriots must be the Templars Davin was talking about. Kind of Ferguson to let me know where to find Our them. Artillery is for sure tightening it up. It's to cover our retreat. Well, let's give him a few souvenir cannonballs before we go. Stand and face me! will allow you to take care of enemy guards quietly. You can lure them to your position by whistling.
shelling stops soon. The Master's supposed to be here tonight for the initiation. I'd hate for him to be caught in this. He'll be fine. He has his own ways of moving around the city safely. I do hope you're right. Understand how to work the door? Yes, I understand. I just hate having to go through all that every time I want to open it. It's to keep the tunnels secure. You know that. I know that. I just hate doing it. That could help me. a simple doorknob for once.
three by three, below we see, but the wise know that answers do not come from staring at our feet. Only when we look to the horizon do we see the path before us. Horizon? We're underground. <sighs> Trust a Templar not to speak. Congratulations. If you were one of us, you'd have just passed your initiation. I will never be one of you. So said your father. He was, uh, disappointed. Now I'm going to disappoint him further when I kill you. How about you? 
How about you? I'll be the end of you! Got you! There, another fragment. You know the drill, extract the code, then upload it, and your work here is done. Look out. Something's happening. Bex, are we clear? We're clear. She won't find us. I think. What the hell? The Hunter Protocol has been activated. I need to get you out of there. Gonna make a hard break. Ready? Now. Lucky I got you out in time. What were you doing? The job you asked me to do? Oh no. The Hunter Protocol looks for anomalies and deals with them. It doesn't make mistakes. Whatever it was, you crossed a line in there. Do you want me to toe the line or find these fragments? I want you to follow orders. You hired me because I'm not Abstergo. Let me do this job my way. Uh-huh. Continue the search. I'll run a diagnostic on your Animus activity. Whatever triggered that alert, I'll find it. But remember this. Results or no, you cross me. And you will never leave this place. What the hell? You two must have set off some kind of alarm. Easy there, it's not over yet. I'm tamping down our presence so she won't be able to find us no matter how hard she looks. If you could play nice, maybe it'll convince her this was a glitch. If I play nice, what will you be doing? Well, we'll be, I'll tell you what, we'll be countering whatever Dominica does to try to find us and analyzing that thing that came after you. Whatever they are, they look nasty. Yes, indeed. Well said. So play nice with Dominica and don't get caught. Just make sure you don't get me caught. Okay, enough with the doom and gloom. Time to get back to work. It's back to Ezio in Italy. Last time you cleaned up Monteri Gioni. This time it looks like you're headed to Venice to chase after Ezio's family treasures. Oh, lucky you, you get to see Carnivale. Bring me back something pretty. Ah, day on the canals with my good friend Itzy. What do we got? 
flattered me as always, Antonio. But now, alas, to business. I take it you got my note about the mercenario who attacked Monterigioni. See, si. my thieves have been working day and night to locate your stolen treasures. And your problem may have a link to one of mine. What did they find? I can speak freely out here. There's a wealthy merchant by the name of Francisco Rizzo. It was Rizzo who took the palazzo. I believe he has something to do with your lost treasures. I have heard his name before. He's a distant bastard of one of the Borgias, no? <laughs> Correct. He is selfish, pompous, and greedy. And has used his considerable wealth to gain power in the city. What else would you expect from a Borgia? Indeed. Fearing assassination, he resides in a fortified villa outside of town. He hardly ever comes to the city. We must make him. How? Oh. I have some ideas, but I need to check on a few things first. Why don't you get to know Venice again, and meet me at the top of the tower? Time is of the essence, Antonio. I know it's you. But don't worry. My thieves will have the information we need. I do not doubt it. Just remember, I'll be monitoring you. I don't want any more surprises. Understood? Good. I say Rizzo has not done badly for a bastard. off to him. For lining his own pockets. Kids. Do you know what he said to me? No, what? He said, I'm going to shoot you in the face. thinking of Rosa. I hope she is well. You beat me to it. That climb isn't as easy as it once was. I made it up just fine. 
60 years old is a great equalizer, Ezio. Just you wait. You'll see one day. I hope I too get to be as wrinkled and slow as you. Now, have you figured out how to take care of Rizzo? Indeed, I have. And... It will be glorious. We humiliate him, publicly. Make him look like the fat fool that he is. Rizzo's pride will not stand for it. He will have no choice but to come into Venice and save face. Exactly. Come, I have much to tell you. See that tower there? Rizzo has planned an extravagant fireworks display for the first night of Carnevale. Climb the tower and set them off. During the day. <laughs> <laughs> A premature explosion. Humiliating indeed. <laughs> Over there, at the base of the building near the dock, you'll find one of Rizzo's capos. Rizzo is waiting on delivery of a jewel-encrusted carnavale mask. <laughs> Trail his capo and steal it. After you've completed those tasks, I should have the information we need for the third and final humiliation. Excellent. In the meantime... I trust you recognize this beauty, eh? Of course. My brain is not yet as adult as yours. Oh, the satisfying feeling as you pull back the string, take a bolt from your quiver and slide it into places like no other, huh? Indeed. Emilio! Federico! Are you ready? Not, not yet. So close. Oh! Hey! He said not yet! He said not yet! Ah, not yet! I am glad I am not one of your thieves. Ah, they're young and nimble. It's good to keep them on their toes. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Why don't you take some target? What's a crossbow without its bolts? Is he gonna shoot? He's gonna shoot. He's gonna shoot. <laughs> Time has not dulled your sharp eye, I see. Now, imagine the satisfaction of using that on one of Rizzo's men. Or maybe even Rizzo himself. But there are other tasks to be done first. Speaking of, I need to meet with one of my informants and must go. Ezio! Use as you will and wisely. Assassin's way down is much easier than the way up, eh? See you soon, brother. Very nice to see. Are you hurt? Have you got anything else? Get your fine wares here. If you'd be so kind as to put that back. Careful with that. Pleasant part. I guess I'll speak to you later. item. So much detail. <laughs> Your wares are cheap and could never hope to impress the taste of Francisco Rizzo. I have important business to attend to. 
good day. The trick will be to remain close enough to the capo to follow him, but not so close as to be seen. You know what milk is to yes? Trey, I suppose. Silk, salt, maybe our fine glassware? No, no, and no! The answer what is this! They have all but closed our fish to make way for the ridiculous carnivalis! Hello, hello. What use has a fishmonger for a mask, huh? True! Cannot hide the smell, after all. Ah, I don't know why What was that? Come look! You'll like what you see! deliveries. Signore Rizzo does not tolerate those who cannot provide goods on time. Mi scusi, Signore. I will send them as soon as I can. You better. I and Signore Rizzo are not forgiving for long. See how fine this is. Let's have a look, shall we? I thought I heard something. Take a look at that. Is he hungry? The fish market is an unusual place for a car in the Mali mask. Starting a fight in here. It's too crowded. Best to go undetected. You're here. They're expecting you in the storage area, at the back of the market. I serve at Signore Rizzo's pleasure, not on the whim of some market merchant. So good to see you. I have so many fine wares for Carnaval. Do you really think I would waste Signor Erizzo's time and money on your cheap junk? Do not bother me. Francisco Rizzo. A what do we know about him? Say. Does How he have the interests of Venice common? in mind? Fie! Such nonsense. Always the same laments. Move along then, Lickspittle. Poltroon. Stay vigilant. Be sure no one follows me. Yes, Capo. I go 
guards here are on alert. Signore Rizzo will be incredibly pleased indeed. You know, there are many fine wares in the market today. I'm sure you could find some other items to tickle Signore Rizzo's fancy. That's not a bad idea. I trust the mask will be safe until I return. But of course! I have the only key. It is as safe as could be. So, the mask is in the chest. The guard has a key. But I have a lockpick. from the fishmongers guild. It is an affront to the Rialto, to our hard work and to the fish themselves that you would take over our market for Carnevale. We demand recompense for... No, that is enough of that. Rizzo's mask, and now it is mine. I should check the mask before the capo returns. What? I've got you now! Hmm? I'll be... I should check the mask before the capo returns. The mask! Where is Signore Rito's mask? The safe is empty. Rito's mask is gone! Quick! Raise the alarm! They have closed the fish market. What's making that Our noise? The guards have joined the search. No need for caution now. Got you now! The blade is free to work. I have to shake the people following me. Come on, lend a hand! Come on, we need every guard! You go here! Check everywhere! Guards are forced to send merchants to leave. They must be the one to catch them. The poor map has been stolen. Watch out for a thief. Not be followed here. Gun for People must I tell? Yes! They've closed the market! 
all because Francisco beats those cloud out in us. Do you know what he said to me? I better not let them see me. It should not have been stolen. <sighs> Fireworks are missing. It won't do to set them off if they are incomplete. Like they wake easily. I wish I could see the look on Rizzo's face when I set off this display in broad daylight. Excellent work. It may have been, but Rizzo is still not in town. Have you so little faith in me? My thieves have discovered that Rizzo just installed a brand new safe in the palazzo. 
Only those with things to hide from prying eyes buy expensive safes. It won't be hidden for long. safe on the upper floor looks formidable. Senor Erizo spares no cost when it comes to his security. Workers had to use a pulley to bring the safe to the top of the palazzo. That is interesting. of items Rizzo has asked his capo to obtain. From Milanesi the tailor. A new velvet tunic in purple with gold brocade and six new camisas. From the jeweler, a good brooch for spiritual protection. He's going to need more than that. Three dials. An expensive and complicated safe indeed. I don't have to figure out the combination. February. Even Barbarigo himself did not do as much for Venice as I. I know the people love me, but at Carnevale, when I go among them with my mask, I shall hear them speak that love out loud. Oh. This is going to get a shock. Something's not yet right. Launched into the sky this very afternoon. <laughs> Signore Rizzo must be furious. I wouldn't like to be on his bad side. Not after what happened at the fish market. A good mercenario is hard to find these days, eh? <laughs> Employ what idiots, and this here? is what happens. At least it won't happen again. True. With us here, no one is getting near Rizzo safe. What's this about? What's going on? 
down here. Oh. Have you found anything worth pursuing? I found nothing. A note from Francesco Rizzo. It says, do not He's touch the killed. paintings. No. They help me remember. Remember what exactly? Damn it! Nothing there! There's nothing here! I've lost him! What secrets are you hiding? Rich was corresponding with the French. Conspiring, I should say. He truly knows no shame. It's time for Venice to find out who he really is. Protecting a public letterbox for the sake of... I'm not supposed to be here. Keep talking like that and you'll find yourself without a duck into your name. It's a job. Once the contents of these letters become public knowledge, Rizzo will have no choice but to defend his honor. Not that he has any to defend. Except me, it seems. Oh well, perhaps next time. We shall see. Ezio, my little sparrows have been busy chirping word of Rizzo's treason in the streets, and it worked. Rizzo is panicked. He just went into the church and will address the crowd any minute now. Then let me get inside. Stay away from the main entrance. It is swarming with Rizzo's men. There is a door off to the side that is rarely used. I doubt it will be guarded. It offers access to some... 
interesting vantage points. And once in the church, I will go to work. Remember not to engage Rizzo's guards in open combat. If you do, he will flee. And be cautious as you approach him. You will need to slit his throat where all can see the price of his treachery. Not take him down from the shadows. Best of luck, my friend. Who needs luck when one has skill? What's the news about Francesco Antonio was right. Rizzo's guards are everywhere. No, the side entrance is far less crowded. are forbidden here, but they will not see my hidden blade. What on earth are we still waiting for? <sighs> Assassin's way. I must not draw my weapon too early. Climb where anyone can see. Or upset the crowd. Thank you. 
Just like old times, eh, Ezio? Yes, only... maybe now I'm just a little grayer. I trust you have taken the palazzo back. Soon. Now that Rizzo is dead, his men will need to find employment elsewhere. My thieves and I shall have our home back. Thank you. For you, Antonio, it was a pleasure. I've located most of what was stolen from you. But in doing so, I've found that Rizzo was not the only one behind those who attacked Monteregioni. Plot runs deeper than we thought. Nah, nothing is ever so simple for us, is it? Again, just like old times. To that end, I found something interesting among the bandits' trove. Take it with you. A friend of ours might be able to make some sense of it. I'm guessing this will need Leonardo's careful eye. Unless you have anything else demanding your attention at the moment? Dolce far niente. Away I go. We've got to change a van since Cassandra's adventure is on Delos, and she's moved on to Athens. Keep your head down and do your job, and everything will be fine. Keep your head down is right. Don't give her any reason to suspect you. When it comes to this stuff, she is very thorough. So far, so good with the beacons. There's no sign she can identify the logic bomb's presence. What's all the fuss about? Stand these new rules and regulations. Every day it seems like there's a new one. So much is the same, yet so much has changed. The Spartans raided Sophia's house last week, and Calias has disappeared completely. Gridius says the Spartans are here for protection. To restore order out. This must be her. Welcome to Athens, Mystios. I am Theramides, one of the thirty in charge of remaking our city. This is my adjutant, Nicomedes. You may return to your duties. I will tell the Mystios why we have summoned her here. So, you're Spartans now? 
We are Athenians garbed in the red of our new masters. Sparta demanded much in exchange for peace. We must pull down the walls that protect Athens and allow within our city a company of Spartan hoplites to maintain order. That can't have been popular. It wasn't. That's why you're here. There is a stubborn resistance within our city that we must subdue. With an even hand, come. Your work here may be starting sooner than I thought. The walls are being pulled down. The Spartan orders. What is the matter here? The Remenes. Cassandra, this is Critias, the leader of the Thirty. And the new mercenary. Polemicus. Help me, Theramenes! I've done nothing wrong! He was smuggling weapons to Thrasybulus. You have proof? We will soon, and then... This Thrasybulus, who is he? A general of Athens, an old friend led astray a by... A traitor and an enemy of this city, who hides in exile while his supporters seek to undermine us. Hmm. Supporters like this Polemarchus. Well, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I don't know what you're talking about. Help this idiot, Miss Theos. Find the evidence and bring it to me. What am I looking for? Anything that ties Polemicus to our enemy, Thrasybulus. You found something. Let me see it. <laughs> well? <laughs> Let's see what we have here. <laughs> Oh, by the gods, what is that? Oh, a goat's cheese. Overripe too, I'd say. It seems there is little here to condemn. I have it. Uh, put that back! It's not... Acme from Beotia. Payment from Thrasybulus. Bacchos, kill this traitor. <laughs> Do not carry out that order. Have you lost your mind? He has conspired with our enemies. And we are here to govern. Not to kill men in the streets. Take him away. We owe him a fair trial, Critias. We need action to remedies, not ideals. Then what do you suggest? Calamicus worked with a group of thieves led by a man called the Nightjar. They used him to smuggle weapons to Thrasybius. So you say. You wish me to deal with them? It's true. These thieves... I've caused us problems. One of my informants has tracked an accomplice of the Nightjar to a nearby gambling den. Go there. Follow this accomplice to the Nightjar's hideout and rid us of this den of thieves. I'm going with Bacchus. Bacchus! I may have stayed my hand this time, but do not go against... You have your orders. Go. Got you! Stand and face me! They are keeping an eye out. Stay! Now what's all this noise? to control your son.
I was just in there. Don't you remember me? Rules are rules. No pass, no entry. Now get out of here before things get nasty. All right, all right. I'll go and look for the pass. I was at the carpet warehouse this morning. I must have left it there. The carpet warehouse? Come take a look. I know that place. If I get there first, maybe I can take that pass. What's all the fuss about? Undetected here. That is one of the thieves. Look out! There's an intruder! Oh. 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 See what you're made of. What's all the fuss about? Huh? Stand and face me. Ah! Athens has changed since you were last here. The 30 are ever more watchful of our activities. Don't use the main entrance to our hideout, but instead go by the tunnel behind the fountain. And be sure to destroy this note when you read it. The night jar won't tolerate mistakes. Let me see your pass. A good day to I said, show me your pass. Please put that down. Could you put that back? On you go. Yes, is right. He should be here. Times change, governments rise and fall, people come and go. Even wine that is good one year can be sour the next. What's your point? Just that this place is a bastion of solidity in the face of change. Here, a six is always good, and a one bad. I'll tell you what never changes. 
you being in the hole. How much do you owe now? Ah, a pittance. You can't rush there the is. Greetings. Care for a game? Then let's see your drachma. Well now, new opponent. Looks like you have enough to match me. Winner takes all, it's just the way I like it. It's the best of three rounds. I roll my dice, then you roll yours. Highest roll wins the round. Let's play. Beat that. As I expected. Maybe you should call it a day. After only one round? I don't think so. Hmm. That's not good. But you can still lose. It looks like I win. This round, maybe. But the game's not over yet. I wish the floor would stop spinning. <laughs> you see, TK smiles on me as Aries smiled on Achilles. Let's see you top that. Give me. Hey, you. Get me another drink, will you? Curse you. me without a nail huh I thought winner takes all was how you liked it huh it's a stupid game anyway pure luck no skill at all take the coin I've better things to do I my jaw will hurt my head Yakos has already left I should get after him. This place is going to Hades. Eh? What kind of people here these days? The lowest of the low. People like you. People like that woman goddess cursor. The Mystics. Can't all be winners, I guess. We'll see about that. Circles should lead me to the thieves' hideout. From there, I can find the night. Take a look! You won't see better! business a uh, little pleasure it's certainly a pleasure to see you likewise it's been too long perhaps we could sit down for a drink after my business here is done I would love to Control this area. I need to stay hidden and make sure I don't lose a Hyakos. They're keeping an eye out. Akiakos, how did you fare at the Capileo? Don't ask. No. You lost? Who? Some Mystios new in the city. Don't worry, it's a minor upset. Try telling that to the Nightjar. Wasn't it his money you lost? Don't remind me. 
Oh, and do me a favor. What's that? You see this Miss Deals, you kill her. I'll show that Malaka. Yes, wants to get rid of them. Akiarkos, how goes it? A newcomer beat me in the Capileon. Have you seen the Nightjar? Just this morning, he's planning another shipment to Beotia. Thrasybulus's forces must be growing if he needs more weapons. It would seem so, which means more money for us. In that case, perhaps the Nightjar could lend me a few opals. Again? Don't push it, Achiarchos. for good, but I'll find a way. I'll find a way to get back in there. The Nightjar will help me. He needs me. He'll have to help. I'll be king of the Capileon again. Oh, yes.
how did the Hyakos get past this? Forget about the Hyakos for now. It's time What's to find the What's wrong with that joke? Bad news from the Kapaleon, that's what. Well? A stranger beat him at night. Cleaned him out, down to his last oval. No wonder he's angry. Not as angry as the Nightjar will be when Akiakos asks for more coin. Now come on, we better get back to a round. make an exception for me. So you can tell him you lost your winnings to ask for more money? Well, now that you mention it. Leave it. For today, at least. Very well. Cherry. Cherry, I've got this. That's interesting. <laughs> You've lost your life as well as your winnings. Nightjar is dead, but he's not my only target. I highly doubt. No go.
could have used that. Stand and face me! I should return to Critias. Ah, you've returned. What of our troublesome thief? He'll be troubling you no more. There, Bakchos. This is what we needed all along. Our problems dealt with, no questions asked. <laughs> Look there, Miss Theos. Is it not the very likeness of me? The strong jaw, the noble brow. A fitting tribute to my rule. And what of Theramenes' statue? Theramenes has become a problem. Where we need unity, he brings dissent. Perhaps Athens needed him once, but no longer. That thief met his end thanks to you. Now it is time for Theramenes to meet his. You want me to kill him? Just so. My men are on their way to him already. You merely need to assist them and ensure the job is done. No. I may be a mercenary, but I am no murderer. And that is what this would be, no matter what authority orders it. Well, you seem to have made your choice, Miss Theos. Perhaps the Remenis was not as averse to unity as I thought. Now, you and he can die together. Take her! They will be watching for me here. What? Not you! Got you.
I don't believe it. Those were Critias's men. He and I have had our differences, but we are Athenians, not barbarous Thracians. If we have disputes, we talk. The time for talking is over. Now come on, we have to get out of here right now. And then what? We leave, and Critias shapes Athens to his will, turns my city into a monument to his vanity, and all these deaths. The Nightjar and his comrades right through to these poor hoplites whose blood stains the ground. They will be for nothing unless I act now. To do what? It's too late, Heraminus. But you can still save yourself. It seems then that I must decide between myself and Athens. And what choice is that? I will turn myself into the Thirty. Critias is bold, but even he will not kill a fellow Archon without a hearing. Not until I have given a true account as I see it. Athens' power is in its people. Our destiny is guided by every citizen. Even if my fate is decided, perhaps my words can set them on a new course. I will throw the die, but it will be up to you and others like you to determine how it lands. No, it's time. You may leave by the western gate. It won't be watched. Go well, Cassandra. May Athena guide you. back. You've been in the Animus for a while now. Anything to report from the last session? Yeah, I felt like I was being watched. I can't say I liked it. I had to take precautions. Don't take it to heart. You find anything? No. You're in the clear. Then let's get back to work. All right. We have two fragments, but there are more out there. How many, I don't know yet. No change in timeline has been indicated, so it's a return to Greece. The timestamp indicates several days have passed. Cassandra returns to Athens, but after she sided with Theremenes, Critias exiled her from the city. Watch your back. for a surprise. Comedis has asked me to meet him. I must be careful. Like it or not, I am now Critias' enemy. Every guard in the city will have orders to kill me. Come on, then! 
What's all the fuss about? Nicomede? The Ramani said I could trust you if I needed a friend. And I do. Is he... Dead. Critias forced him to drink poison. He did not deserve such a fate. We shall not let it go unanswered. You plan to kill Critias? We cannot reach him. Maybe you can get to his head informant. The one they call the Viper? Where do I find this Viper? She will be at a party at the Arkans' house this evening. And the guests will be wearing masks to hide their identity. A mask would let me get close to her. But first, you need an invitation to get into the party. I'm not on the guest list? <laughs> no. But I know someone who is. Lucianos. One of Critias's lackeys. You can find him in the Agora and take his invitation. And get the mask from his house before he returns. Simple enough. You'll also need a robe. Pay a visit to Harias, a weaver I have credit with. She'll make one for you. Very well. This is not the Athens I knew before, Nicomedes. But it can be again. This is the first step in getting it back. You are Irais, the weaver? I am. Nicomedes said you could help me with a robe? I wish I could. Spartan soldiers took over my workshop this morning. My tools are in there and they won't let me in. Then perhaps we can help each other. Perhaps we can. Very well, if you find my tools and bring them to me, I'll make your robe. Agreed? We have a deal. Lend me a few coins. What? Did you lose a dice again? A minor setback, I assure you. Ha! I hear that every time. Best to stay out of sight. This time is different. <clears throat> now what's all this noise? Stand up!
out! There's an intruder! Got you heard about our paper? No. Here! Light on duty over there. What Just the? one? I wonder what he's guarding. North! Head north! Should let it ice now. I have the tools, as we agreed. Thank you, Miss Theos. Now, from my side of the bargain, I'll start work on your robe straight away and send it over to Nicomedes when I'm done. soon have a own.
What's all the fuss about? What's going on here? Defend them! Defend them! Face me! They should just talk it out. Lucianos. Now to get his invitation. Hello there. You might not miss me, but you'll miss my a very special gathering all mine. I'm sure they won't miss you, Lucianos. I hear you just bought a new house. Congratulations. Best to stay undetected here. These are reactive from a theater. They can be moved to form a picture. Lucianos has an interesting way of protecting what is his. That doesn't quite work.
must be in there. Now to find a way to get to it. doesn't quite work. This image looks complete. I should focus on the other one. There. Both images are aligned. No one at the party will know it's me. What's the fuck? <laughs> Have everything? Yes, except for the robe. I have it. Let's prepare. The party will start soon. You can leave your weapons in here. You expect me to go unarmed? I'll never. I'll need both your weapons. They'll be here when you return. Now let's have a look at that mask. There you are. Wearing this will allow you to move around freely on the lower floor of the house. Guess on the upper floor will be the elite of Athens. So? They'll be wearing different masks. I'll need to find another way to blend in. You should get ready. Come. You can dress in here. And my armor? I'll keep it safe. Mask, robe, no weapons. At least I still have my hidden blade. And you'll need it once you'll get to the Viper. Besides, it's just for tonight. And tomorrow? You leave the city and cross the border into Beatia. Thrasybulus is gathering an army there. The exiled general. Therameni spoke of him. He plans to retake Athens, and I would be by his side when he does. 
Will you join me? I'm not an Athenian. Quite the opposite. We stand at a crossroads, Cassandra. If we look away now, the city will forever be ruled by a wealthy few. But if we oppose Critias, we can put the destiny of Athens back in the hands of its people. You know as well as I that where Athens goes, the world follows. So what kind of world do you want to live in? A valid point. I would not wish a world of Critias on anyone. And will you come with me? I will. But first, tell me about my target. Oh, the Viper is the head of Critias's informants. Now, you'll be able to identify her by an armband she wears in the shape of a... A Viper? Exactly. Now, getting to her won't be easy, but it's our best shot at striking a blow against Critias and the tyrants who run this city. Are you ready? Don't worry, this isn't my first party. But it will be the Viper's last. As I said, my as I said, my invitation must have been stolen in the Jerry, your invitation. But what of it? This is me, Luciano. I'm expected. I can't let you in without a pass. Have a good evening. This isn't over. Critias and I are friends. He won't hear of this. You mock my words. Nice to I see you. My friend is among them. I should head inside and find out where she is. It's good and pretty as to invite us. Very good. Do you still have your place on the coast? At Salamis? No, more's a pity. Lost it in the war. Did you hear about Lucianos losing no. his mask? My husband sold it. Yes, so the pompous fool. It's hardly a surprise. And now he's spoiled it for the rest of us. Like what do you mean? A missing Don't mask could open the door for an assassin, and the Viper is ever on her guard. So you're... single? Ah, that explains why, why she's not be? letting people with masks upstairs, then. Exactly! I want to wear my mask, but that means I have to spend time down here with the hoi polloi. Uh, no offense. Oh, none taken. The Viper knows I'm coming. So much for my disguise. But... I have other ways of not being seen. There's a way through here. Serious. It's coming from the kitchen window. I wish someone would close it or serve the food. Isn't the anticipation of the thing I'm better than an eye out. Very philosophical. The guards will attack me if they see me here. Viper isn't letting anyone with a mask near her.
Huh? What could that noise be? What's all this about? I can't let them catch me here. Got anything? What's this? Nothing to see here. you were looking for. The friend of Theramenes. Describe her. Tall, well-built. She's dead. I need to leave. I can't fight those guards without my weapons. What's going on here? Defend Stop. yourself! Sandra? It's done. The Viper is dead. Good. <laughs> Good! Oh, Beatia awaits us! We can leave the city when they change the guard. Can I get back into my armor first? Yes. We have time enough for that. Welcome back. Why am I here? I haven't found any more fragments. These memories are from violent times. I want to make sure your sessions in the Animus aren't having any negative effects. It's a simulation. I'm fine. Glad to hear. But still, human history is largely us trying to kill each other. You could look at it that way. We do. That's why Abstergo exists, and why I want to build the Nexus Eye. Athens against Sparta, the Patriots against the British. What if we could map out the minds of those involved? See what they were thinking, and without bloodshed, unite all sides under one flag. So that's what you want, an end to war. An end to chaos. By knowing how people will react to a stimulus, we also know how to change their behavior. What to do or say to steer them onto a more orderly path. That sounds a little controlling. No more than the seatbelt in your car. It's a safeguard against destructive instincts. A way to allow us, together, to be all that we can be. Why tell me this? I'm here to do a job. An important one. So you need to know what's at stake. Why we're doing this. After all, you're one of us now, aren't you? Oh, what an impassioned speech! So full of lofty ideals and glorious goals. What a load of bollocks. And it's not as neat as Dominica makes it out to be. 
Think less order versus chaos and more control versus free will. And we're on the side of free will, I take it? Well, there's not a lot of room for hackers in Abstergo's rank-and-file utopia. Dictators use the word control when they mean tyranny. They don't actually want to make the world better. They just want to remake it in their own image and for everyone to bow to their vision. Well, free will may not be perfect, but at least it's not bending the knee. I take commissions, not orders. Which is why we brought you in. This device that Dominica talks about could be the end of free will as we know it. That's not a world I want to live in. Me neither. So, let's get back to the task at hand. Planting the logic bombs so that Abstergo's twisted little future won't come to fruition. Which means back to Connor. It's a bit later in his personal timeline and his work in Boston is done for the moment. So, now he's off to occupied Newport, Rhode Island. A city of spies under the British thumb. Be careful. And also, trust no one. There you are. Ho, ho. We have an opportunity. There's a British general named Prescott who has a bad habit of taking up residence in farmhouses all over the equidnic countryside. We're going to find him and take him for ransom. Lieutenant Colonel Barton, do we know which house he's staying in? That's where you come in. There's a spy on our side in Newport that has Prescott's schedule. Get that, and we can get our hands on the man himself. And all I need to do is go into occupied Newport and meet this spy? You have to meet his lookout first. Listen for the man selling fresh apples, the best in Rhode Island. Tell him they're just like the ones you grew on the farm, and he'll lead you to our man, Jeremiah Scudder. Let's go, man. Thanks, Jack. There's another one of Dominica's random scans blocked. I think we may have gotten away with one. But just because she says you're in her good books doesn't mean she doesn't have her hackles on. A warship came into port today. I think the British are offloading supplies. They'll be, they'll be there in the morning. Where it is, they'll meet. Two hours before dawn. And the harbor master's already got his cut. Barton said to look for a merchant calling out best apples in Rhode Island. Just like the ones we grew on the farm. You'll do. I assume you're Major Barton's man. He has a knack for choosing good people. I have no time for flattery. To the point, then. There are two things that need doing for me to let you know where Prescott will lay his head. What are they? The first is to retrieve a document from a dead drop inside an abandoned warehouse. But the Redcoats know something is in there and have been searching the place. And the second? There's a British officer I've turned. Name of Alden Beckworth. He's a cagey sort. Follow him until such time as you can speak undetected. Tell him to go to the safe house on Tour Street. Do that, and I will meet you there and let you know where Prescott will be. You ask for a great deal. <laughs> Nonsense. I'm just happy to be 
serving a greater cause. Now hurry. The Redcoats won't miss that dead drop forever. What the? I tried that tavern you recommended. I didn't much care. the dead drop in the rafters to hide it from prying eyes. Spoken of the captain today. No. Do I need to? Gotcha! Let's see what you've got! This one is nervous. He must be my man. Is 
feels as if someone's following me. I get the feeling I'm being followed. You are Alden Beckworth? So what if I am? He's the one we're looking for, lads. Got you now, traitor. If I try to free him now, the odds are against me. Perhaps I should... <laughs> it's off to the stockade for you. And then a turn on a prison ship. I'm thinking you'll enjoy that. I don't know who you are, but thank you. Jeremiah Scudder sent me. He said to meet him at the safe house on Turo Street. Well, that there now, then. Thank you again. Back 
Duckworth's cover is blown, but he still has his life. Time to tell Scudder how I fared. Stand and face me! I'll have you now! You're dead! Stay undetected here. What's the bell? Do you have it? Give it to me. Ah. Uh, at last. I have rescued your man Beckworth from arrest. Now, you owe me some information. Arrest? That is damnably bad news. The British were ready to put him on a prison ship. He was my most secret asset. If they found him, my network is wide open. You're not going to Barton just yet. I need you to infiltrate the British commander's office at the fort. Find what evidence they may have on my people and destroy it. Otherwise, everything we do here is for naught. I have done what you asked. Tell me about Prescott. And I'll tell you once you do this for me or not at all. See you at the docks.
Hmm. List of Scudder's informants. This needs to be destroyed. More of Scudder's secrets. Into the fire with you. Connor, do you have what I came for? I do indeed, and more. The location. <laughs> a map of the encampment surrounding it. And news of a hidden entrance to the house. All here for you. Thank you. That is beyond what I expected. You did me an unexpected good turn. I remember my debts, and I pay them. <laughs> you best be off. Till we meet again. Warship between us and Newport. We can't go around her, even in this fog. And if we're seen, we're sunk. 
Just let me get close to her. I'll do the rest from there. This madman's plan to take on that ship alone. No matter than our plan to kidnap General Prescott. Quiet, the both of you. Connor, if you're going to do this, we'll need to foul the ship's rudder and put out the signal lamp. That way they can't get help. I understand. And Godspeed. And good luck. I'd better not let them see me. I don't know what we're expected to see in all this. Never mind the fog. Just keep an eye and an ear out for anything moving on the war. A man would have to be insane to set sail on a night like this. Then keep a watch for lunatics as well. Dismissed! Opportunity. this noise
That one's already singing. I'll get plenty from him on Prescott's defenses. You and your men should stay here and interrogate him. I'll clear the way. Are you sure? That's a lot to ask of any man. You are not asking me. I am telling you. The path will be clear. I promise. I don't know if heaven or the devil sent you, Connor. But you're a good man to have on our side. Go! There are dispatches within the camp that Barton would like to see. I should take them. Tiger! Don't you face me! Too long! My horses are small. Too fast. Someone's small. I'm fire! Taha! Very funny. You're just past midnight. Plenty of time left until dawn. You're as good as dead. This is what I'm after. Where's that racket come from? Got you! What have we 
waste of time. it. They won't be able to raise the alarm now. I'll tell you this place stinks. Of course it stinks. It's a swamp. I don't know what General Prescott sees in this place. Officers are a different breed. Touched in the head, the law of them. How about you? Ooh, let's see what you're made of. Assassinate the commanding officer, and we'll throw the rest of the soldiers into chaos. Guards here are leaderless. That will do for the camps. Now to deal with Prescott's personal guards. Nice and boring. 
just the way I like it. You don't want some excitement? Excitement usually means someone getting killed. I hadn't thought of it that way. See? Stick with me and you'll learn. I will, I will. What's the fuss? Get out! Get out! There's nowhere to run! Got you! What's the cause of this ruckus? Uh, uh. Secure the first floor. Quietly, lads. No telling who's at home. We got a prisoner! I can see that, you idiot. Now keep your voice down. Sorry. 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 No one here. Let's keep it up. Yeah. No one here but the wine. Maybe we can't have any. Sisson, would you kindly open the door? You lot might want to stand back. Yeah! What's all this then? General Richard Prescott, I presume. I have that honor. And who the devil are you? Major William Barton of the Continental Army, at your service. And you, sir, are my prisoner. You'll not get away with this. Guards! God! Oh, hell. Your prisoner, sir. Smoke you! Right. Back to the boats before the sun catches us. Connor? You go ahead. I will search the house for intelligence. Then we'll meet you on the shore. Prescott's papers. They must be around here somewhere.
What does this say? The prisoner has not been entirely cooperative, though we have learned much from him. Keep him locked up in the cellar until he talks more. Richard Prescott, General. I think I have found a use for that key. You're not a redcoat. It is a good thing for you that I am not. I could say the same for you. Whoever you are, thank God you're here. They were going to take me into town and execute me as a spy. And who are you? Lawrence Cato. Peddler, former spy, and perhaps a bit more. Locked up as part of Jeremiah Scudder's ring, though Scudder himself would have stuck a knife into me if he'd really known who I was. A traitor? Yes, but not in the way you think. I'm an assassin. A member of an ancient order that... I know what the assassins are. Are you suggesting that Jeremiah Scudder is a Templar? Suggesting? Hell, I'm stating it. Get me out of here and I'll prove it to you. But how do you know about the assassins? You are not the only one with secrets. Look out! I know I have not visited in a while, but it is no cause to shoot me. Ezio! I had heard you were in town, and was wondering when you were going to drop by. It is good to see your face. The beard has come in quite nicely. Yes, although it is very, very grey these days. You and I both, old friend. To what do I owe the honor? Pleasure or business? Well, it is always a pleasure when I get to see you, Leonardo. I am afraid my visit today concerns some past. Friends of ours. They call the Veremes. What? How is that possible? You wiped them out years ago! I do not know. But I am hoping this book can help answer some questions. Book? What book? Let me see. Thank you, Ezio. I am eager to explore the book's contents. It is completely encoded, and I cannot make heads or tails of it. Your timing is impeccable, Ezio. My mind was bored with tinkering today, and I was looking for a good challenge. Hmm... This is quite complex. It may take me a moment. Make yourself at home. I have some new things around the workshop to keep you busy if you wish. Crossbow big, or are the people small? That one is fascinating, although I doubt it would ever work. You will forever walk the earth with your eyes turned skyward. For there you have been, and there you will always long to return. The 
his smile, it turned out perfect. Ezio, come here. I may have found something. Have you been able to decipher the book? No. Whoever devised this code is smart. Very, very smart. Surely not smarter than you, Leonardo. I did not say that. Given a few more days, I would be able to crack it easily. I fear we do not have a few days. My gut tells me the cult has something planned immediately that we must put a stop to. Well, then it is a good thing I found an inscription scrawled inside the margin that may help us find the cipher. It mentions the key somewhere near the docks by the church. I know there's not much to go on, but I'm afraid it's all I have for now. You never disappoint, do you, Leonardo? Not if I can help it. Be careful. If I remember correctly, while small in number, the cult was well equipped and very dangerous. Ha! <laughs> I am always careful, old friend. And that is what my sword is for, is it not? from the building to the boats. There could be something useful there. Have you found anything? What's all the fuss? The bloody alarm! Ha! Stand in face me! Back to your guns now! Let's see what you got! the boat, but ensure it is secure. We will have need of it again. Now what could that mean? This is no key. 
It looks like part of a large clock, like the one in the church of San Giacomo. Finally gone. Nothing, damn it. What a strange it. mechanism. The cog I found could fit in that gap. Sound from within the tower. That, at least, is progress. An old clock. But what to do with it? The final piece of the puzzle is revealed, right under our noses, no less. That eel has slipped our grip before, but he is not as clever as he thinks he is. Seize him, and get what we need. I will be right behind. It is signed, S. Finally, the cipher key. I will take this to Leonardo. Our brothers are on their way to the workshop already. Good. It's time we put an end to his meddling. Not like the sound of that. I should return to Leonardo.
nothing to see here. are here. They're in my workshop. Who is Leonardo? Here it is. The final piece of the puzzle that will allow me to obtain the staff of Hermes. Thank you, Leonardo, for keeping such good records from the last time you faced us. I do not know what you are talking about. Sure you do. Don't you remember? You see, my father and brother were members of the original cult of Hermes and served under Ercole Massimo. Even the assassin murdered them. No, they were the ones who attacked us. Lies! It doesn't matter. You see, I have found another Pythagorean temple here in Venice. And if the legend is true, it houses a weapon that will allow me to bring enlightenment to the world. There is nothing you can do to stop me. Kill them. Beware, Ezio. The wolves are circling. Huh? I have you now. Drop that one. They're attacking me! <laughs> <laughs> I must get inside to safety.
It's you. Is that you? Try not to shoot me. You invited me in. Of course. Of course. Do you have the cipher? Is anything I was willing to promise to protect it? We must be getting close. I do indeed, my friend. And none too soon, it seems. Ah, then give it to me, compadre. And let us make plain of these secrets. Ezio, I need to decipher the book if we're to stop the cult. Now, let's see the cipher. And now, to crack the code. Thank God you were able to locate that cipher. I've used it to decode the location of the hidden temple. Do not keep me waiting, Leonardo. Where is it? Isola San Michele. The Island of the Dead. Serafina is after a powerful artifact, like the Apple of Eden, called the Staff of Hermes. The deciphered book indicates it's hidden in a temple under the island. I will have to stop her, of course. What is the fastest way to get to the island? A shame the flying machine isn't in working order. It is a good thing I know how to pull a gondola, then. to Midland. And yours? I've seen better days, alas. You need to take better care of yourself. I know. Here I am. Try harder. For your sake. That gondola will do. find the cultists.
must be another way in. So this is where the cult is gathering. I must tread lightly if I am to follow this path to its end. Have you finished your preparations? Yes, the main door is closed and bolted, and I've posted guards throughout the temple. Good. It is vital that the ceremony not be disturbed. It will go ahead as planned. You have my word. <clears throat> what if the assassin comes here? You must make sure the ascension ceremony is undisturbed. After that, it won't matter how many assassins you have. The staff of Hermes shall usher in a new... No idea. Staff is. And stop Serafina from acquiring it. Make sure everything down the boat paid well. I've been smuggling things in and out of Venice since before half of you were born. What's making that noise? What's this? Found anything yet?
After tonight, everything changes. Followers of Hermes have been like an ember, burning in the grate. <laughs> now we will be rocked into bright fire. Well spoken, brother. We have long awaited what this new age will bring. At last, our reward is at hand. going to find us here. These wheels twist. Let's see what happens when they are turned. must be underway.
hate from a holy book of a sort. It seems they believe Hermes will return and usher in the new age of light. I may have to disappoint them. What's all this? Metal to do. You are too late, assassin. I have obtained the staff of Hermes. All of the world shall bow before the might of Hermes' wisdom wielded by my hands! What? I cannot be. Fake! No matter. I shall still send you to hell! I have you now. Here is I've got an energy reading. There's a fragment nearby. Grab the code, plant the logic bomb, and you can call this one a wreck. The cult's treasury. It would seem I am not the only one they stole from. Okay, that did it. Time to move on. Wait, the staff was a fake? Indeed it was. So, all of this was for nothing? Well, I would not say that. We read the city of Rizzo. As is often the case, fate drove us together, and good came of it. All is well that ends well, eh, brother? Maybe Mario has been looking down on us, protecting us. To Mario. To Mario. To Mario. To Mario. Uh, to Mario! <laughs> <laughs>
They don't need to be humanoid. It's an affectation designed to instill fear in their targets. Still, a nice touch. What is that thing doing here? When an intruder is apprehended, the hunter overloads their connection to the animus, burning out the optic nerve and eventually the occipital lobe itself. Did you call me back for a reason? I've got work to do. Don't I know it. A Brotherhood spy in the heart of Abstergo, bent on sabotaging everything I've worked so hard to build. Don't deny it. I've been watching you ever since you slipped up. The one thing I don't know is why. Sometimes you've got to choose a side. It wasn't your lucky day. I may have let you in, but I'm sure as hell not letting you out. I need to protect Abstergo and the project. This isn't personal. Oh, it is a little bit personal. Got you. You've got me? Took you long enough, she knows. You have to trust us. We've done this before. We can protect you. Uh, speaking of which, Bex, do you have the camouflage algorithm Is ready, that please? really gonna hide me from Dominica? Is water wet? Of course it will. Running the protocol now. Easy for you to say. It's not your ass on the line. Based on the beacons you've already planted, we've established where most of the remaining fragments are. We'll be sending you in after them, so you can set the final logic bombs. No need to extract the data, just find the fragments, place the bombs, and go. First up, the Battle of Venetia in ancient Greece. The Athenian Thrasybulus has made quite a comeback. Once an exile, now he's got an army, and you're on his side. Dominica will never suspect that's where, or when, you are. Sibulus plans to take the Munitia fort, but for that, he needs me. I need to take out the banistas in the harbor. Not a ship in sight. Come Find them. 
What's all this about? Nothing to see here. Where did that noise come from? Defend yourself! You're as good as dead! Huh? What have we got here? There's nothing here! What's that sound? What are you up to? Why are you still here? I know you're still in the system. I will find you. And your Brotherhood friends won't be able to help you when I do. Hang tight. We're shielding your location from Dominica and populating dozens of memories with false positives. She won't find you. Triangulating on those last fragments now. Dominica's up to something. Nothing here. I pray to Zeus we leave here soon. Silence is definite. I could do with a good fight. Anything for a bit of entertainment. I agree. It's made worse by having no wine. I pray to Dionysus twice today, but not a drop. I have an idea. Don't try to run! There's nowhere left! Civilus told me the fort has two commanders, Asterios and Calias. I need to remove them without raising the alarm. Then, Thrasybulus' men can slip in and secure the fort. What's all this then? Ah, it was not you can't have gone far. All right, one left. That's one of my targets. I need to take a look. What's going on here? What a waste of time. Oh! 
Gate open. The port is ours. Good. The remainder of our forces are on their way. Send a detachment to occupy the harbor when they arrive. As you wish. Though I doubt Cassandra has left us much to do there. I feel like we're going to be seeing more Spartans soon enough. You may depend on it. We may not have their numbers or their training, but as long as we hold the Manikia tomorrow, victory will be ours. Now get some rest, Cassandra. Report to Nicomedes in the morning. Tomorrow the battle for Athens truly begins. Find me, Comedies. We make our stand here for Thrasybulus and for Athens. I know what we face, but Athena will grant us the strength and courage to win the day. Now, to your position. Sandra. 
What's happening, Nicomides? The Spartans move against us. They have the numbers, but we have the high ground. True. With the days to go in our favor, we must hold them on each end. What was that? Persibulus is on that side of the fort. Find him, Cassandra. If the Spartans are attacking, he'll watch your blade by his side.
I expected the Spartans to engage us on the field, not attack us from the flank! It's not the Spartan way, but then our enemy does not have a Spartan army. Yes, of course. General, we cannot stay here. If we pull back, form a defensive line inside the fort, then perhaps the last of us will fall at dusk instead of noon. No, we cannot wait. General, we need we're... to strike a decisive blow now! <laughs> There's still time! Alexis, oh, it's worse than I thought. Help us, Cassandra. Put pressure on the wound. Press your hand down. It'll help stem the bleeding. I got the one that did it. Tell the general I got him. Yes, you did. You did well. Here, drink. A toast, general. To the health of our good friend, Critias. <laughs> You'll be there with us when we finally kill that Malacca, eh, Alexis? Alexis! Critias. This all comes down to him. We spotted him. Critias. On the cliff overlooking the battlefield. It was impossible to climb, but... Maybe you can do it. Cassandra, without Critias, the army of the Thirty will be leaderless. If we take that chance to charge the enemy, then this battle may yet be ours. Leave him to me. He and I have unfinished business. Send that Planeri to Tartarus, Cassandra. Our army, all of Athens, depends on you. Theos. You really are becoming a pest. You'll find out much more than that. Is that so? To me, you are a bothersome fly who I finally tired of batting away. Time for you to meet your end, I think. Guards! Call whoever you want, Guards. It won't be.
I've got a read on a fragment in this area. Find it, then we'll get you out of there. Some 30 years ago, another funeral took place not a mile from here. Pericles, great son of Athens, spoke of the heroism of Athenians who gave their lives in the struggle against Sparta. I was but a boy then, a youth of nine summers. Now, here I stand before you as a man, a soldier, a general whose beard is touched with gray. And in all that time, the children of Athens and Laconia set out with sail and sword to spill one another's blood. But even our most savage enemies do not wage war for its own sake. There is always an end, a goal. The Empire of Babylon sought conquest. The Spartans and their allies sought to tear down everything we had built. But do we then seek Sparta's destruction and the conquest of Laconia? No. For Athens is the jewel of Hellas. And even the simplest merchant knows that the value of a jewel is not added to by a pound of sand. When Athenians fight, it is for the preservation of our polis, our values, our way of life. That's another fragment Dominica won't get her hands on. Yes, nice work. But let's not hang around, eh? can help me with this. That depends. What's the problem? The problem is that there are clearly two pieces missing from this thing, and I've only identified the rough location of one. The second one's a mystery. I'm guessing Dominica's tucked it away somewhere. What Sean's saying is that we haven't been able to figure out where the last fragment is. We do know it's not an Ezio memory, or a Cassandra, or a Connor. So then where the hell is it? I can't search the rest of the cloud. Don't, don't you worry. We will find it. Dominica can't hide it from us forever. As for you, it's back to Colonial Newport after your adventures with Barton. It's gonna be dangerous. But you can handle dangerous, so get to handling. We'll handle this. Explain to me again how a runaway assassin ended up working for a Templar spy network. I had no idea Scudder was a Templar until I was already on board. Not surprising he hasn't told you yet, he's probably planning on putting a knife into your kidney. Why are you still alive? My father wiped out the Brotherhood in the colonies a decade ago. Truth. When the purge started, I ran away, disguised myself as a peddler. Yet I ended up working for Scudder anyway. And now you think I should kill him based on your word alone? On a fellow assassin's word. But if you don't believe me, well, check the evidence. He's planning to leave the colony by ship, and he's taking a fair load of Templar artifacts with him. It will be difficult for him to escape. He's slippery, that one. But I can help you catch him. I know the ship's purser can be found in the courtyard behind City Hall. Follow him to the captain, and you'll be able to cut off Scudder's escape. 
I will follow this lead, and then make my decision. What will you be doing? Running for my life. In too many years since I was in a fight for me to help you. I never was a very good assassin. There should be a fragment in this memory. You look for it, while we keep Dominica off your trail. There's the ship's purser. Now, follow him to the captain. Did I hear something? Your pardon? You just stepped on my foot. I Not am sorry, piece. but I did no Shame such about thing. the price. Don't try to deny it. I saw you do it. You are seeing things then, and I cannot help you. Am I being followed? Board Captain Clark's ship. Very well. Come on through.
guards here are on alert. There you are, Captain. What news? Our friend Scudder is skittish. The British made an attempt on his life yesterday, so he'll be looking to board tonight. Of course. Good thing we've already taken on most of his shipping from that fancy city house of his. Well, expect him tonight, after he deals with that Brotherhood friend of his. Won't he be surprised to find a knife in his ribs? My work here is done. I'll see you before we set sail. Until then, Captain. So it seems the peddler was right. The answers I need will be found on that ship, after I deal with its captain. I have taken your life. I I the man. Man. At the bottom of the harbor. Dude, fall in and help must. search. There he's found. Watch your mouth. Uh. Got anything? But well, don't try to run. Found him. Hey. Not even trying, are you? Ran out and said. Give us a hand, would you? Have you found anything? I've got nothing. You? Give us a hand, would you? Not a thing. What's going on here? Black powder. Got him! I'm not for this. Can go here. 
but I still need the ship's manifest. The ship's manifest is what I need. The address where I can find Scudder is sure to be within its pages. The address the ship's cargo came from. I have you now, my friend. should be sufficient for my needs. Now to bring them here. If I can just find something to light the straw in here with, I should have time to leave the ship before the black powder explodes.
you heard the news? What Hurry news? up, will you? You need to warn A man like Scudder always has another exit from his home. What if someone... I have you now! You cannot hide any longer, Scudder. What have we here? A bill from artisans for repairs to the fireplace and all its works? What sort of works would a fireplace need? Something's not yet right. Something's out of place here. I have you now, my friend. Jeremiah, let me congratulate you on your library. It is a remarkable example of the type, albeit a trifle difficult to get to, and a subtle guardian as to what lies beyond. Excellent work, Hatham Kenway. The news must be nearby. Something I can use must be nearby. We're closing in on that last memory. Run all you want. You 
can't hide from me much longer. A little longer is all we need. There's no place left to hide, Scudder. Hasn't anyone ever told you it's rude to ransack a man's home? Scudder. Indeed. And I suppose you are going to insist that we fight. You lied to me. No. I let you believe what you wanted to. It's not too late to change sides, you know. We are going to win this war and establish a new nation as a beacon of rational thought. You could be a part of that. I know your father would be pleased if you were. I have never spoken to my father, and I have no wish to if he is anything like you. What a pity. I guess this means you have to die. nearby. Don't forget, you just need to make sure it's there, then plant the logic bomb. Of course it is locked. Where would Scudder have kept the key? And there it is. Listen up, nice work, no denying that, but there's no time to celebrate. I've located the last fragment. Missed it the first time. It was hidden in a minor Connor memory. I wouldn't exactly call it minor now. Just drop the beacon for this memory and get ready. Dominica's picking up the knack of finding you in the memories, so we're going to send you straight there. Find the fragment. It shouldn't take you too long. And place the last logic bomb. Do that, and Dominica can go pound sin. It's like the memory is coming apart at the seams. The memory is destroyed while you're in it. I have no idea what could happen to you. But it wouldn't be good. So, find the last fragment and plant the logic bomb before that happens. I'm getting a read on the fragment near your location. It's moving! Ahead of you! On that ship! Abstergo security inbound. It's the Hunter Protocol!
Yes, but Dominica can create more of those things. So keep moving and get to that ship. Odds are she's gonna throw more hunters in your path. I'm on it. We can do something to help. Hey, Bex. Can't do anything to the hunters directly, but maybe we can hack your avatar. Don't get too crazy. It's me. That's the spirit. We can't let them touch you. But let's see what we can do when you reach out and touch them. I've got some ideas. Let me try and implement them. Oh, that's classic! She's making it so that your weapons are particularly destructive to Hunter Code. Just give her a minute. Do I have a choice? No, now keep moving. Up you go! Have you finished the weapon tag? You worry about the climb, let us worry about that. You heard her. The clock is ticking. You need to find the fragment before Dominica can scan it. I've got nowhere to go! Hang on! We've got our hands in the code. We can build something for you. There! Run for it! Doesn't go all the way! It will! Trust us! Now! Get going! Now that I've observed you uploading the code fragments, I can figure out how to do it myself. And I won't let you destroy this one before I can scan it. You're trapped. I have you exactly where I want you. Use your weapon! They'll cut through those hunters' defenses like they aren't even there. Yes, that's it! Not just you, your friends in the Brotherhood, your hacking collective, everyone and everything you have ever held dear. You have no idea what you've unleashed.
That's it. The last logic bomb is in place. We have to detonate them before Dominica figures out a way to counter. Already on it. Done. Did it. The targeted memories? Gone. And the fragment, too. Toast. The Nexus Eye will never exist. Oh, brilliant. Bex, fantastic, as always. And you! Oh, that was a hell of a yeah, job. Yeah, it wasn't easy, but you pulled it off. You hired the best. Now let's talk about my payday. We agreed on... Hold on a minute. I'm getting some weird readings. Oh, shit. She traced us. Did you really think I wouldn't find you? Arrogant idiots. Oh, holy hell, we are screwed. Bex, get us out of here. She knows where you are. Wipe everything and run. Now! They'll kill you! Ah, there you are. Don't tell me you thought you could run. That anywhere would be safe once you crossed me. I blame myself, really. I should have known anything that could benefit the world, the Brotherhood will be there. Trying to break it. Doesn't matter. We'll pick up the pieces and start again. In the end, the Templars will succeed. But you won't be around to see it. I've sent a team to bring you in. And they'll be there. Any moment.